What I do know is this. Every single person watching or listening to this has immense power inside. Has incredible talents and gifts. Has incredible capabilities that they don't even know exist right now. So many people have written discount version of yourself, okay? But you have to, again, think to yourself, okay, I am left, but I can now turn this left into something positive. What's important is for people to understand that that setback, forsaken, rejected, it didn't work. That that setback is only temporary. There's an element of just getting back up again when you've been punched so many times that you feel like you can't. And there are times you feel like you will never get out and that you will be a discount version of yourself and that what used to be your life is not going to be your life. And, and that is not the truth. You can do anything you set your mind to if you roll up your sleeves, you get in there and you do it. Everything is figure out of all. The only real power we have in the world is choosing our response. We can't choose what happens to us. We can get stuck into situations where we are not treated fairly, um, where any number of bad things can happen. And so the only choice we can make is how to respond. And I find that that knowledge gives me so much freedom because if something bad is happening to me that I can say is beyond my control, I can say, well, at least you know I have the power in my response to show the world what kind of person I am. In the moment, we have to work with what we have, like to just alchemize the anger, the frustration, someone putting you down, and to use it as a positive and productive vehicle to help you move ahead. The key is not to try to become the person you used to be. And you may have heard this saying that I say, a comeback is not a go back. So I win or I learn, but I never lose. What does that mean? It means that no matter what situation I put myself in, either I'm going to be a baller and I'm going to knock it out of the park, or I'm going to learn a time. And then I'm going to be like, okay, so I learned all this stuff, but I could do it next time. But I never lose. So I'm not attaching that identity. Does that mean that I never make silly mistakes? Of course I do. Does that mean in the moment when I've wasted cash, when I've made a poor judgment call, when I've fallen flat on my face that I don't freaking cry or feel like an idiot or absolutely want to cry in the corner? I absolutely do those things. I do those things. But then the moment I like actually take a breath and have a little perspective for a moment, I'm like, okay, I win or I learn, but I never lose. And that allows me to get back up, contextualize it, and keep on going. All we're striving for, progress, not perfection. And I think that those stumbles and those screw ups are a really positive indicator that you're actually in the game, that you're actually making progress and that you're on your way eventually to victory. Best piece of advice I ever heard is don't punk out and quit. Worthwhile, worthy things in life are just the result of a lot of, you know, painful, uh, enduring failure. You know, like you'll be annoyed about, you know, I often get annoyed about something somebody said to me at the office or some political thing that's going on you know, I'm in my friend group, <laughs> or some other issue, I'm stuck in traffic, and I will forget, wait a minute, okay, at the end of the day, I come from Stardust, I will return to being Stardust, none of this matters at all. The only real thing that matters is, is love, um, you know, loving people and being loved yourself, and I think everything else is kind of gravy, so. Go find something that you're so friggin' passionate about that you can't help yourself, but just attack it, and then just go and start having fun with making your life measurably better.